Hey guys, how's it going? Nas here, uh, doing part two of my uh, 118 scale unboxing. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> uh, if you haven't seen part one, check that out. Um, this one, we're going to start out with something awesome. It's going to be some of my movie cars and uh, Batmobile and some other cars. So <laughs> anyway, this is my pretty much childhood collection. Some are newer, but most of them are... I had them since... Oh my god, early 90s, you know, since I was a, a teenager. So, uh, yeah, I'm just unboxing them. I'm going to clean them up later and mount them on my wall in my new studio space so that I, so that I can actually have space to continue my artwork and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm going to start flailing my hand and get to the unwrapping. So, yeah, hope that wasn't too close. I didn't see myself. <laughs> anyway, cool. Let's start at the top. Oh yeah, this bad boy. He's huge. Um, this is something my dad and I have in common. We really like these old cockroach looking cars. So for him, these would be like his, his era, I guess. When he was uh, of age. But yeah, the uh, Riviera. What's it say down here? 1971 Buick Riviera. Nice. This is by Road Signature. But yeah, huge, huge car. Freaking beautiful car too. Of course. Let's see what's it look like under there. There we go. Yeah, you know, nicely detailed. Awesome car, man. All right, put this bad boy up there. That's uh, a little Model T. Oh man, I definitely overwrapped this guy. I have lots of spare TP. So I don't know, like what stories I can tell you guys. Again, I'm just filming these for my own record in the future if I ever either get rid of these or whatever. Who knows, you know? But, uh, I gotta fix the little steering thing there. But yeah. Yeah, it's more in focus there. Yeah, I got a lot of cleaning to do. Alright. I think that's one of the ones my dad got me a while ago. Obviously, no one gives me toy car gifts anymore. And please don't. <laughs> I only get stuff that I must have. Like, I do want to get a Aston Martin DB7. But, uh, you know, all that can wait. This one I got myself. When it actually came out, I was in love with this car. I think it was a uh, uh, Gran Turismo, I think one or two. This car was in it. Oh man, loved it. At the time, this was amazing. Oh yeah, this little thing comes up too. Hold on. It's a little hard to do things in front of the camera because I'm like lurking over it, you know? Slouching. There, got it popped up. Cool car. Oh, what else can I say, you know? <laughs> but yeah, it was weird. Like, you don't see 118 scales around much anymore. Maybe at the flea market sometimes. But back when I was like 15, they were like in every store and every mall. Yeah, back when I collected these, I never really collected action figures or anything. Maybe some X-Men. I was all about Spawn, too. I guess I was a 90s kid. I don't know. Teen. <laughs> yeah, another one of my favorite Ferraris. F40. What's it say here? 1987. Wow. Burago. Yeah, another cool model. Oh, what's this? What's this? Hmm. Hmm. 
Yeah, the F40, I guess, is also one of the ones I got in Canada when I was a kid. For those of you that don't know or care, <laughs> I lived in Canada for a while in the, <clears throat> in the early 90s. Oh, okay. It's a Thunderbird. Sweet. There we go. Oh, yeah, the top comes off. Good thing I remembered that. Don't want any uh, part two drops. Like I dropped that freaking Lotus. Oh my god. Thank god nothing happened. Looks like I am missing a mirror there though. Over the years, man, stuff just falls off. So, yeah, how you guys doing? Um, any of you collect 118 scales? Let me know. Maybe I won't feel as alone in the world. <laughs> Not that my collection is huge. Everything on the screen is pretty much all I got. Except a couple of DeLoreans that I'll show you in a minute. Oh, 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 man. Okay. This thing, I think, actually went to a Porsche dealer in Canada. Walked like five miles. Because I really love this design. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, so, walked my ass to, uh, the dealership and overpaid for it, probably, 1993, yeah, I was 13. Wow. Not a big Porsche guy, but some of them are really cool. Oh my god, like, I mean... <laughs> I think I went through, like, two rolls when I was packing these. Ooh, yeah. Worth it, though. Look at that. Yes. Love the Shelby Cobra. Um, when I was not necessarily a street racer, but I used to go street racing before Fast and the Furious came out. And uh, I had a Shelby Lancer, 1987 Shelby Lancer. It's like a turbo, only 800 made, uh, 400 manual, 400 automatic. So yeah, made by the same Carroll Shelby as created this beautiful car I actually owned two <laughs> got them at an auction for like 300 bucks each with my dad burned out like four transmissions two engines I enjoyed racing don't do any of that anymore though I'm too old now I live in a room of nostalgia doom all right <laughs> this thing I bought for my mom from QVC. It was a home shopping network type thing. Uh, I used to watch those after school and just watch all the 118 scales that they were selling. And for some reason I bought that for her. Obviously I bought it for myself. It was a little selfish douche. Self-critical of my past, past self. Ooh, okay. Speaking of Shelby, awesome. I actually had a black version of this car, but I sold it. Don't need variants. This, uh, one of Carol Shelby's last designs while he was still around. Another beautiful car. Borago, yeah, 1999. I graduated high school when this came out. <laughs> Some of you are like, I was born in 1999. Yeah, well, some people were born in the 60s or 50s. What the hell am I talking about? Sorry, guys. All right, this thing I need to fix. This is my custom. I made a Ghostbusters Mustang. This is really cool if I say so myself. There's, um little dish that goes on top that fell off um, something else that goes here but yeah I did all these water decal slides I kit bashed from other like kits painted everything made everything work added this little thing there and the wires the wheels are from a Jaguar <laughs> but yeah pretty authentic there eh, eh, eh. very nice I wish this would focus better. 
Mm, maybe. Anyway. But yeah, need to finish this. Adding more to my projects to-do list. But yeah, this was just fine before I moved. That's what happens. Alright, two more. Ooh, this is the really sweet Batmobile. I <sighs> love this thing. Love all of them. I need to stop saying that. Dang it. Little peek. How cool is that? if I can make it focus. No, oh, no. I think it's too much of a wide lens to focus on anything. I'm literally like two feet away from the car case. But yeah, how cool is this Batmobile, guys? At one point, my dad... It's a kit, believe it or not. My dad bought it for me. I think he paid five bucks for this thing. I was amazed. But yeah, it's like a level two or something. I have to assemble all of the insides, put all the wheels together, like, clip everything on. But it's die-cast, it's not plastic. Alright, what else we got here? Man, looks like I'm gonna have myself a little fire in the backyard tonight. Or go to Taco Bell, so I can actually put this paper, toilet paper to use. Alright. The reason why I have a taxi and a police car is because my mom loves those. I don't know why, she always has. Since I was a kid, she would buy me uh, either a taxi or a cop car. And uh, so the taxi over there, I mean the cop car over there, she got me. And she also got this for me. I think I was like, well, let's see. What's the year this came out? Uh, it doesn't say. It just says that it's a 1955 Buick. But uh, it was definitely in the 90s, so that makes me a teenager at some point, so... But I, I really love this New York taxi cab. Really cool. Alright, so that's it for the case. I still have to show you guys two more that don't fit in here yet. But uh, let's go with Back to the Future 3. This is like one of the jewels of my collection. This was a birthday gift from my cousin who lives in Budapest and I think he got it on Amazon or eBay and had it sent to me and uh, believe me when I opened this I was like oh my god but yeah everybody loves the DeLorean and this is the one that goes on the railroad tracks in part three love all three episodes I mean whatever movies equally Okay, and it doesn't stop there. I have the one from part two as well. This one my dad found at the flea market as well. The Mr. Fusion got broken off and uh, mirrors broken, but my dad got this for five bucks. So naturally he gave it to me and check this out. Very nice. I like. So yeah, really cool. I can play with this for hours. All right, put that down. So yeah, guys, that's his eat. Whew. Sorry, I had to turn like the heat, off, uh, the cool off because it's too loud and stuff. How much of me you can actually see back there? I guess just weird movements of a bearded guy. <laughs> anyway, all right, I'll stop rambling. This has been uh, just me opening up my childhood collection of 118 scale cars stories won't that weren't, weren't that interesting because i'm not really in a story mindset but you know i was just relaxing hanging out opening these things i figured you know why not make two videos if anyone's interested in this they can watch it and enjoy it if they don't they don't watch it so yeah i love this little collection i have no plans or intentions of expanding it or making it bigger but obviously i might get a third one just to fit those cars and um, I think I have a couple more in storage somewhere in the bin. So, but if I get a third one, I'll have to fill it. So that might send me down a big old hole. So I don't know. But anyway, these are the thoughts that I have in my mind. 
Um, I still have these really cool, cool cars here. The Playmobil one. Well, let me switch this up a little. This way. The Playmobil thing, uh, Ecto-1 and the uh, kit. I have another DeLorean over there. Yeah, so anywho. So soon, I'm probably gonna show you show you off some of my packaged 164 scale cars, you know, just for, for fun. If you guys want to see those, let me know below. If no one wants to see it, don't suggest it or ask me to. <laughs> I would like to film it, so let me know. Um, I'll probably do it either way, so there you go. Thanks for watching me unwrap my stuff. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next art vlog coming soon where I keep working on my 3D collage. Yeah. All right, guys. Peace out. Later.